Hi everyone. Proper onboarding is critical to bringing new agents onto your brokerage. I'm Chiyoko Kakino. I'm the Vice President of Brand Expansion for Century 21 Canada. I am also the host of the Real Estate Real Success podcast. All right, let's get started. Here's your C21 checklist for a successful onboarding program. Checklist item number one. Identify your goals. It's really important that you identify goals for your program ahead of time. As they say, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. So identify what those goals are and how you're gonna measure the success of your program. So it might be that you want 98% of the agents that you bring on board to your brokerage to go through 100% of your onboarding program. Or maybe you wanna measure it based on productivity or based on how long an agent stays with your brokerage. However you wanna measure, it's really important to set those goals ahead of time so you can see if your program is effective. Checklist item number two, create an onboarding team. Split up the responsibilities to your team members. Get your support staff involved in the onboarding process, but make sure you have clearly defined roles and those roles are clearly communicated to your new agents so they know who to contact if they need anything. Checklist item number three, Create an onboarding checklist or a handbook. It's really important that you create an onboarding checklist. You can break it down into different categories, but something that you and the new agents can work their way through. And don't forget the small details like getting a headshot done or setting up a domain or even you know making sure their website's set up properly. Create a document that you can use to measure your success as you take that journey through the onboarding process. Checklist item number four, conduct an audit with experienced agents. You have your onboarding checklist now or handbook, and you might need to not go over every single piece of the onboarding process with experienced agents, because of course they know how to you know, write an offer, they know how to give a listing presentation. So make sure you do an audit ahead of time with your experienced agents to just understand you know, what help they need, what information they need in order to be successful with your brokerage. Checklist item number five, give them homework. It's really important, not only are you teaching them to do things, but they practice how to do them. So with every different area, you're gonna to wanna to give some homework, at least homework for the week, for them to be able to clearly articulate and show you that they've been listening and then they know how to do what you just taught them. Checklist item number six, create some role-playing opportunities. As you go through your onboarding process, you'll want to create those opportunities for you to be able to role play with the agent so they can practice with you. And if any obstacles come up, then you have an opportunity to work through those obstacles with them. So you might want to have them practice an offer or, you know, present a listing presentation, whatever you think is important as a real estate agent to be able to role play ahead of time versus being in front of real clients. That's what you're going to want to do. Checklist item number seven. Track the progress of each agent. It's very important that you track the success that you've had with your onboarding program. And one of the ways that you can do that is track the success and the progress of each agent. So you might wanna create a Google spreadsheet. You wanna put their name. You wanna put maybe what brokerage they came from or whether they're new to the industry. You'll want to put what the start date is of the orientation and what meetings they attended, what meetings they missed. And you'll review that on a regular basis so you can make sure that no agent goes missed and they're all being successful and going through your program. Checklist item number eight, review your checklist every year. It is critical to make sure that your checklist or your onboarding handbook is always kept up to date. So you're going to want to mark it in your calendar to review it every year. You want to make sure that the technology is updated, that the training is updated, and you know, maybe some things shift. Maybe there's, you know, more of an emphasis on social media that you might want to actually add a few steps in your onboarding process when it talks about social media. Just make sure it is always kept up to date. Checklist item number nine, get feedback from new and experienced agents. As you go through that process of updating your checklist every year, make sure you put it out and ask for feedback from some of the new agents that went through the program, or maybe you have some experienced agents that joined your brokerage and also went through the program. It's really important for them to review your checklist or your handbook so they can provide you with information to make you more effective. Sometimes the market shifts or their needs change and you wanna make sure that your onboarding program reflects those changes. Checklist item number 10, 
share ideas with other brokerages. One of the best ways that we can continuously learn in this industry is really bouncing ideas off of your neighboring brokerages. So hopefully you're part of a large network like Century 21 and you have some neighboring brokerages that you have a good relationship with and you can reach out to them and you can kind of learn some of the great things they're doing and then you can share some of your best practices. Anyways, as they say, two heads are better than one. Checklist item number 11 and our last and final one. Promote your onboarding program and your recruitment presentation. Now that you have the successful onboarding program and a checklist or a handbook, now you can use that to attract agents to your brokerage. So make sure you incorporate that component into your recruiting presentation and just be loud and proud about your onboarding program. Those are your 11 tips to creating a successful onboarding program. Let's review them one more time. Number one, identify your goals. Number two, create an onboarding team. Number three, create an onboarding checklist. Number four, conduct an audit with your experienced agents. Number five, give them homework. Number six, create some role-playing opportunities. Number seven, track your progress on each agent. Number eight, review your checklist every year. Number nine, get feedback from new and experienced agents. Number 10, share ideas with other brokerages. And number 11, promote your onboarding program in your recruiting presentation. If you didn't have a pen and paper handy to write all those items down, don't worry, just email me and I will send you your own hard copy. My contact information can be found at century21franchise.ca. Century 21 is one of the world's largest residential real estate companies in the world with presence in 86 countries. In Canada, we are 11,000 plus strong and we're looking for like-minded individuals who share the same vision to what the future of brokerages look like. If you are interested in growth opportunities, please feel free to reach out to myself or my colleague Gary Zalapa. His information can also be found on the century21franchise.ca website. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed this video and we look forward to seeing you in person soon.